250 milligrams of cordyceps versus 500 milligrams versus 2000 milligrams. Some believe cordyceps is one of the most potent nootropics on the market for brain function, but is it really? And what's the optimal dosage? Is it even safe? Well, I tested different dosages for a month and in this video, you're going to learn everything about its benefits, side effects, dosages, my experience, and at the end, whether you should consider buying cordyceps or not. Hi friends and welcome to Your Inception's YouTube channel. My name is Greg Gostinkar and on this channel we are on the hunt for the best products, nootropics and supplements to boost brain performance. If that interests you then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Is the 10 to 1 extract of cordyceps that I was just taking really 10 times stronger? And what happened when I increased the dosage from 250 milligrams to two grams per day? We'll answer all of that in this video. But first, what exactly is cordyceps? Well, for one, it's a type of fungus that promises some pretty amazing health benefits. This larvae invading fungus has been used for centuries to treat ailments such as fatigue, sickness, and kidney related diseases. It is used so commonly that it has found its way to the present as a popular supplement. So popular in fact, that I decided to try it out myself. So if you're ready to find out what a daily routine with cordyceps looks like, then keep watching this video to find out if this supplement is the one you've been looking for. Now, cordyceps have been proven to improve the delivery of energy to your muscles. This can help improve your exercise performance on a daily basis. They also have the potential to carry anti-aging properties, which means young, healthy features for longer. Now, while the following benefits have been scientifically proven, they've only been tested on animals, which means professionals are unsure if these results fully translate to people. First one, various animal studies and test tube analysis have shown that cordyceps do have the potential to treat cancer and cancer treatment related side effects. They could also be considered for diabetes treatment as they can initiate the properties of insulin to keep blood sugar levels low. Cordyceps have historically lowered LDL or bad cholesterol levels and they can reduce inflammation in the body. In addition, the mushroom seems to possess some neuroprotective features that may be beneficial in enhancing mental clarity. And people also use cordyceps to improve athletic performance as it can improve the production of ATP, a key carrier of energy within cells that enhances oxygen utilization. And this is particularly beneficial during exercise. But remember, these results came from animal studies and have not yet been tested on humans to determine whether the outcome is the same. Now, the potential for cordyceps as a medicinal ingredient is great. But for now, let's stick to what I've experienced while using it as a daily supplement. Now, during my test, I was taking cordyceps mushroom powder made out of 10 to 1 extract of the whole fruiting body. Now, in my case, it was cordyceps militaris and not cordyceps sinensis. Since the optimal daily dosage is unknown, I reached out to a friend of mine who is a herbalist and who recommended taking 250 milligrams of my extract per day. Now keep in mind that the extra that I was taking was extremely potent and that's why such a low dosage was recommended. So for the first few days, I noticed no real benefits. I took the powder in the morning with some other general supplements like B-complex and omega threes. But after about a week, I noticed a mild improvement in my cognitive performance and well-being. Now this could only be a placebo effect, but keep in mind, I didn't feel it during the first few days, which was quite surprising. After about two to three weeks of taking cordyceps, I also noticed feeling calmer during the day. Most importantly, a small crash that I sometimes experience after a lunch was more or less gone. Now, I was often in this flow and I stayed in the flow for a longer period. I also felt more creative, but that was just me. Then, for the last week, I decided to increase the dosage. I first tried 500 milligrams and at the end, I even took 2000 milligrams. Now, to be totally honest, I didn't feel any difference between 250 milligrams and 500 milligrams, which kind of makes sense since this nootropics is known for its long lasting benefits and not the short term effects. But then I took 2000 milligrams of the extract. Now, before I tell you what happened, is it safe playing with such high dosages and does it even make sense? Well, the fact is that there is no agreed upon dosage when it comes to cordyceps, but the most common range is from 1000 to 3000 milligrams per day. This is of a one to one extract and not 10 to one extract. Now 10 to one extract doesn't mean it is actually 10 times stronger, but it uses 10 times more material for the same extract. And studies show it is way more potent because it contains more of the cordycepin content, which is one of the many healing substances in cordyceps. You also need to know that cordyceps have long been used in traditional Chinese medicine and are even approved by the Chinese government for use in the hospitals, recognized as a natural and safe drug. So just playing with radically high dosages isn't the smartest thing to do, 
even if you are not aware of any potential side effects. And we know that cordyceps is considered safe for supplementation. So back to my test. When I took 2000 milligrams, I felt a bit weird for most of the day. Instead of feeling well and being productive, I felt kind of a lazy and even had brain fog. I also experienced some cramps and yeah, overall, I just didn't feel good. Of course, there could be many factors contributing to my well-being, but I believe it was the too high dosage of the extract that caused it. So I decided not to take 2000 milligrams of this potent extract again, for now. Anyway, before I share my verdict, let's talk about the pros and cons of supplementing cordyceps. By the way guys, are you on the lookout for the best nootropics to boost your brain performance but don't know where to start? Take a look at our free nootropics quiz, link below, to get personalized recommendations that will be the perfect choice for you. Okay, let's start with the pros. Now, cordyceps have been used for a long time in traditional Chinese medicine, having a history of helping users improve their well-being. Cordyceps can boost your performance when exercising or during productive activities, and this makes it a great daily booster for yourself. Cordyceps, if they reach their full studied potential, can help with overall health, uh, covering everything from chronic diseases to healthy heart aging. Now it's time to look at some of the shortcomings of cordyceps. Now one of the biggest issues when it comes to using cordyceps is insufficient research. There is just not enough research on the benefits of cordyceps on humans, while there's plenty in relation to the benefits of animals. And second, cordyceps are not easily harvested, which means they are harder to supply. This makes cordyceps a pricier supplement to invest in. Now you can find different qualities of cordyceps on the market at quite a different price range, but for a monthly dosage of a quality 10 to 1 extract, expect to pay about $30 or 30 euros. Now if you want to order cordyceps that I trust, check out the link below. Alright, now despite the limited research, there is no doubt that cordyceps have a lot to offer, both health-wise and performance-wise. Regular use will show an improvement in overall health, especially boosting immunity. And the athletic-minded are sure to notice boosted performance as well. Based on this, I believe that if you're willing to make the investment, cordyceps are a worthwhile supplement to try out. They've been working for centuries in Chinese medicine, so there's a good chance that they'll work out for you as well. However, stick to the low dosage and take it for longer periods instead of taking a massive dosage for just a short period. I just believe that long-term supplementation is way more effective so there is that. And the same is true if you take my favorite nootropic stacks of this year. Watch my next video to learn more. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.